Welcome to Philosophy in the Car. Hello. Hmm, philosophy in the Car. Today, I, I'll probably back up a little bit and I want to share something. I want to share the idea of uh, a philosopher. You know, I consider myself a living philosopher. Right? What I say by living is that uh, I'm a professor of philosophy. I teach philosophy. I mean, I mean, Western philosophy, I teach about Plato, Aristotle, Immanuel Kant, Rene Descartes, things like that. And if you study these individuals, you'll just see that they were actually pursuing the absolute truth about reality, about ethics, mathematics. They were looking for the truth as it is. And their findings become the inside of our society and their findings become the foundation of our academic system. Right? But they were genuinely looking for themselves. Okay, They weren't just doing it for economic reasons. I need to get paid. I need to get a job. I have the economic side. I'm doing it because this is how I make my living. But also, I'm a genuine philosopher like them. I really want to know things. And I pursue the truth individually. That's my private philosophy, that's my personal philosophy. And so, and when I go in the classroom, I don't share, I share a little bit of my philosophy, but I don't teach my philosophy, because that's not the purpose. I'm a professional, actually, like in that environment. But here on this side, I really want to do some philosophy myself. Yes, I post things that are really useful for my students. I'm going to keep doing that. But right now, this morning, I got up with a new idea. Something I haven't talked about in the class, but a new idea that really is puzzling me. And uh, I want to share it. And also, it's incomplete. So I want to do philosophy with you. So below, write your comments however you want. Remember, philosophy is an idea that you're pursuing. You try to get a deeper and deeper understanding of that particular idea. Now, what's neat about these ideas is that when you're living philosophy like myself, clarity in the idea means living life differently because you're not just trying to impress somebody with some idea, learn some idea to write some book and get some kind of fame, okay, or trying to give somebody some advice. You're trying to get a clarity on this idea and you're going to use that idea to live a better life. And that's what I do. When I say living philosophy, that's what I do. So clarity of idea allow me to live a better life. <clears throat> the idea of coming from Socrates, who's considered the father of you know, Western philosophy. Now, the idea I woke up with this morning was this. Money is happiness. Yes, I said it. Money is happiness. Hello. I said it again. Let me say it again. Money is happiness. Did ha Let that sink in for a second. Let me say it again. Money is happiness. I'm giving the big eyes there, okay? Just in case you thought he didn't really say that. He didn't I know, it's, co it's a controversial idea. But that's what the philosopher woke up with this morning. I clearly saw, I have an insight. And I can see that money is happiness. It is happiness. You heard the concept, you can't buy happiness uh, with money. Yeah, I, 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 I can see why you come with that. Because money is happiness. How money gonna buy itself, huh? I, 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 Maybe you're going to watch Wall Street, uh, uh, you know, currency exchange perhaps. But money is happiness. Mm-hmm. And so, now what exactly does that mean? Um, when you look at people socially, economically, all right, what you see is that those who have more money socially are more happy socially. They're more happy. Sorry to tell you that. You know, you have less of a struggle when you have more money. Uh, please don't take this in a different way like I born in money. I was not born in money. <laughs> I worked hard to get any money I have, okay? What I'm saying that money is happy and philosophy is going to be like this. Sometimes the truth you discover it can be very painful. So therefore, that's why it's not something for most people, okay? You discover the truth and oh, yuck. <laughs> money is happiness and I don't have any money. And then, but you realize something about yourself. One of the reasons you're not so happy is because you lack the money. Stop struggling and fooling yourself and see if you are unable, you have to work three jobs to maintain just a normal life of, a, of an apartment and, and you and your significant other and maybe a child and, and all the costs that's involved and you see yourself struggling, you are struggling and it is a struggle, it is frustration because that frustration can be measured, can be generally 
called unhappiness. It's a certain unhappiness you have there. You have your moment, you enjoy a TV show, a beer with a friend, and you laugh and stuff like that. But in the background, that unhappiness is there. It's because you lack money. It's the money, that's all. I'm sorry to tell you, it's the money. Hmm? On the other side of the fence, you may have people who have a lot of money, maybe even own a big yacht and things like that. And they have money and they complain they're not happy either. Their girlfriend ran out on them. Um, uh, uh, old partner trying to sue them. They have a lot of issues too. No one escaped pain and pleasure in life. Coming from the philosopher John Stuart Mill, utilitarianism, okay? We are governed by pain and pleasure. There is no escape from that, whether you have money or you don't have money. Pain and pleasure is part of it. Sadness and happiness is part of it. Everyone goes through all the emotional state. Everyone goes through all the pain and pleasure and suffering. We, we go through that. That's not, those are part of wherever you're at. But the overall structure, the overall social situation you're in, when you feel it, that's what we would call happiness or unhappiness. What I'm saying is that the person who has more money right, can create an environment for themselves or him or herself okay, such that they can be happier than the person who has less money. Let's not talk about those who have no money. Okay, that's a whole, another topic. All right. So, the idea is that money is happiness. is challenging because we like to look at money as not something positive. And right now, I want to change the game. I am a philosopher, and I'm presenting this new idea. And I feel very strongly about this idea. So, I'll be talking about it. Now, if you want to talk me down, please, in the comment below, give me your comments, and I'll respond. Show me, show me the error of my thinking. <clears throat> because in philosophy, I'm trying to get this idea. It's in my head. I'm working on it. And this one is so new. I want to share with you. And so you will help me develop this idea. If I am misguided in any way, please publish. I can't wait for your reaction. For me, right now, hmm, money is happiness. Okay? Money is happiness. Did I say that right? See, cause I, I'm thinking that maybe you didn't hear me. So that's why I repeat myself. All right? Just make, make sure you understand that. I'm repeating myself. Money is happiness. Until next time.